The iPhone 12 is just around the corner, but as of right now, the 11 Pro Max is still their flagship phone. And today it's going up against the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in a speed test, which comes paired with a Snapdragon 865 Plus processing chip, while the iPhone comes paired with an A13 Bionic chip. The iPhone has four gigs of LPDDR4X RAM, while the Samsung comes paired with 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM. We have a stable version of iOS 14 on the iPhone finally, and we're gonna be using the 120 hertz display on the Samsung set to full HD plus resolution. We're going to leave the animations on on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra to match that of the iPhone and we're going to be testing out boot fingerprint and face unlock in round one. Round two we're going to test out initial opening of app speed and round three will be all about RAM management. I'm using my fingers over here so to keep things accurate we're going to pop GoPro footage to the bottom left hand corner. This is Technic and without further ado let's go! We're going to start with a boot here in round one to see which one can turn on the phone faster. And the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra does it in 21 seconds as opposed to 24.5 seconds on the iPhone, getting its first points in round one. Now we're going into the devices to see which one can refresh the app icons faster, and that is indeed allocated to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now with its first points in round one. Now we're testing the biometrics of both devices, the actual secure ones. We have an under display fingerprint sensor, which is indeed ultrasonic on the Samsung, and we have 3D face unlock on the iPhone. The Samsung was faster the first time round. Let's see what happens with the second time. Just slightly quicker the second time round compared to the little unlock animation that you see at the top of the iPhone. And the third time round, it was quicker as well, getting the Samsung its second point in round one. Now we're testing the actual facial recognition neck and neck against each other over here and the iPhone was faster the first time around. Faster the second time around as you can see its unlock animation is quicker at the top of the iPhone than it is on the Samsung and it is indeed quicker the third time around getting the iPhone its second and final points in round one making it two for two in round one. Round two is going to be initial opening of app speed. We're making sure we hooked up to the same Wi-Fi network, same max brightness as well as all the apps closed in the background and we're going to start off with the camera app. Opening up the camera app the iPhone 11 Pro Max opens it up quicker. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra flips to the selfie cam quicker and the iPhone takes the snap quicker, so now two points for the iPhone. Going into the gallery app, it was too close to call. Going into an actual photo, the Samsung picks up its second point. Now matching the iPhone, and next app is the calculator, which was once again too close to call in the system apps department. Last system app that we have, actually second last system app that we have is the phone app, which the Note 20 Ultra picks up, getting it its third point, now surpassing the iPhone. And going into our last system app, indeed settings, was too close to call. Going into our first non-system app over here is indeed speed check and internet speed test. We're not testing out download upload speed here per se, but more so how long it actually takes to do the test. So 21.5 seconds for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, as opposed to 24 seconds for the iPhone, getting the Samsung its fifth point in round two. Now a three point lead over the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The next app that we have is indeed Spotify, where the Samsung picks up its next point being six points, now triple the points of the iPhone. Next app that we have is Photoshop Express, a photo editing app, and going into it, the iPhone is the clear one over here, getting its third point. But going into the photo itself, the Samsung picks up its seventh point. Now we're going to go ahead and export these photos to gallery and you can see that at the bottom of the Samsung screen it says save to gallery quicker than it said at the top of the iPhone screen getting its 8th point now 5 point lead over the iPhone a 6 point lead after opening up Adobe Rush but going into the actual project the iPhone 11 Pro Max picked up its 4th point now we're going to go ahead and export this 4k 25 frames per second clip we're going to compress it down to 1080p and match the frame rate of 25 fps I've left it at real time over here I'll speed it up in a second but leaving it at real time over here because iOS 14 is doing some wonders with the NVMe storage. Four seconds, I usually get six seconds on the iPhone and 11 seconds with the impressive UFS 3.1 storage on the Samsung, still not as impressive as the NVMe storage on the iPhone. Going into Astral VPN, the iPhone picks up its sixth point to open it up quicker, but the Note 20 Ultra turns it on quicker. We need a VPN here in China in order to open the next run of apps and opening up Facebook, they opened up at similar times and they finished loading at the same time, so no point was allocated. Same thing for Instagram over here, they both opened them up at the same time, so no point was allocated. But going into Twitter, there was a clear difference over there. The Note 20 Ultra got its 11th point. Now five points ahead of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now six points ahead after going into YouTube slightly faster than that of the 11 Pro Max. So a double point lead for the Samsung. However, going into my channel over here, it is pretty neck and neck, but the iPhone actually picks up its seventh point there. Now closing the gap between it and the Samsung. Going into one of my videos, the Samsung plays it quicker and loads the entire page quicker, getting it its 13th point over here. And the next media app that we'll be jumping into is indeed Netflix. Hopping into Netflix, we do have a bit of an animation when it comes to the 
the iPhone. So due to that, the Samsung picks up its 14th point and I double point lead again. And it was too close to call when going into my profile. Next app that we have here before we get to our gaming section is indeed Google Chrome, which the Note 20 Ultra opens up quicker by quite a margin over there. I did test this quite a few times before running this actual speed test. And I can assure you guys that this is 100% accurate. First game of four year, Subway Surfers, which one's gonna take it? iPhone is known to open up games quicker, but it is indeed allocated to the Note 20 Ultra, getting it at 16th points, almost a 10 point lead over the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Third last game of year, third last app of the 20 is indeed flip diving and jumping into it a little bit shorter to load this time around. And the Note 20 Ultra, no surprise, grabs it. Now definitely has a 10 point lead over the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Going into Temple Run 2 over here, our next game, I sped it up, slowed it back down. And once again, the Note 20 Ultra opens up another game faster than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now more than 10 points lead, 18 points for the Samsung as opposed to seven on the iPhone. Now we're going into the new era update PUBG Mobile, a lot longer to load than the last one, 14 seconds for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, getting it its eighth point and 17.5 seconds for the Note 20 Ultra, quite a bit quicker over there for the iPhone, but closing off round two with 18 points to the Samsung and eight points for the iPhone, making it a 10 point speed difference toward the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Now we're testing out RAM management. Remember, we only have a third of the RAM on the iPhone with four gigs, and we do indeed have 12 gigs of RAM on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. But the most important thing here is that the Samsung has the newer tech, the LPDDR5 RAM, while the iPhone is sticking to LPDDR4X RAM. Hopefully we get LPDDR5 RAM on the upcoming iPhone 12 Max, whatever it's gonna be called. So far, it's not too bad for iPhone. I can't say it's the worst in terms of RAM management, considering its tiny RAM size, with four points toward the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra over here. If both of them keep the app open, no point is allocated. If both of them kill it, no point is allocated. And in this case over here, the iPhone is actually kept all apps open in the background except for four. And for those four, the Samsung kept them open. So Samsung kept all the apps open in the background, getting its four points over here in round three, as opposed to zero on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Total score here, 24 for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, as opposed to 10 points for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you focus on just raw performance, we're focusing on round two over there when it comes to speed, 18 points for the Samsung, as opposed to eight on the 11 Pro Max. So we have more than double the speed on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. It'll just be interesting to see what happens when we get our hands on that nice brand spanking new iPhone 12.